Hi everyone and welcome back. Let's talk more about Swell Store. And this time let's see uh, what happens uh, in the background. Like we can write our own, uh, we can do it using subscription and then we can use lifecycle methods to unsubscribe uh, the store. So we are going to write a simple store which is nothing but uh, export const store or let's say const store and then we will export it and it exposes all the methods and we can just do is export default the store instead of named export we are doing the default export and then inside apps file.js we are going to play with uh, some code that's it uh, so here we don't want to use a dollar i mean this is the best way of doing it because in this case we don't need to worry about subscription and unsubscription but let's see how we do it without even doing that so we need to get the store from store.js and we have only this component and here inside this we will because this is just a simple counter we have simple store which has the value 0 numeric value and we can just play with the increasing and decreasing it and here we can also use the lifecycle hooks which uh, provides by the swell component on destroy and there is another method is on mount that is coming from swell okay so let's say we have a counter value is 0 and let unsubscribe these two variables we have and here we have these lifecycle methods on mount this takes callback as an input and here we will write a code what we are going to do on the on mount so on the on mount uh, I'm going to assign the value to a variable so I can just do unsubscribe and this here we are going to get the value store dot subscribe Store dot subscribe. I have a state, and that state I'm going to assign to the counter. So I have a counter as a local variable. That's it. So here I got the on mount, and there is another method I have on destroy that also takes the callback, and inside the on destroy. We can just check if I have unsubscribe, then I can just call the unsubscribe method. This is how you unsubscribe on the component removal. And then here we will have all these methods from this uh, template like increase, decrease. So we can play with the template values. So here let's say first print the value. So I have access to the counter and then here we can add the different buttons. So I have two buttons one is for increase and another is for decrease and I can add on click action on both this is increasing the value and this is decreasing the value. So I'm going to call another method for this which is DEC decrease and we'll define all the methods here function and another function is this and we are good. Okay what we are doing in these functions we are going to update the store values right so and there is another method is also reset we can add so inside reset we can simply call store dot set zero store is nothing but a counter store object if it is a decrement then i can simply do is store dot update 
so it's a decrease so i will just do i minus one Sim similarly store dot update i equal to i plus one right simple method and this is how it is working i mean i just wanted to show you like like you when you want to subscribe unsubscribe then you can use these life cycle hooks to get the subscription object subscription variable and then unsubscribe using on destroy life cycle method and here we can write these uh, different events and this is the counter is the variable which is getting the updated value because we have already subscribed it so subscription will always trigger whenever there is a change in the value when you are doing update using increment and decrement method okay and then you can also have a reset method so on click reset that's it a reset should set it to zero yeah simple example it it doesn't mean that uh, you can't isolate these things what you can do is this is a simple store store has nothing but just a simple value now you can write n number of components to access this value and update this value okay you can create these uh, so here we have these button components right these can be in separate separate components uh, you can say reset swelt increment swelt and decrement swelt and there, there you can write this code that how we are updating it so there you can call these simple things let's say i'm going to create another method another file well and i'm going to show you simple code here we are getting the count so i will just import store from store.js and here we can just simply call store.update decrement right so it's like another component so similarly you can create increment component reset component and then import all these components here and bind the the buttons Sim similarly we are just doing it through the simple buttons and then these are calling different events the whole objective is store is centralized now you can create 10 different components or n number of components every component can access the store simply like this you get the store you can do a store.update store.set you can do store.subscribe store.unsubscribe all these methods you can trigger at the component level okay if you don't want it to subscribe or unsubscribe let's say i just wanted to print the value whatever it is having so it's a numeric value it is holding right so i can simply do is just print the value that's it it will give me the value i don't need to worry about subscribing and getting the value and assigning it and subscribing it on the life cycle destroy we don't need to worry about it okay so this is all about the basic introduction now we are going to use it this concept of swell store uh, this readable writable and derived readable stores we haven't uh, discussed that we will see in the demo application but uh, how we manage the state because this store in the real world example this will be a javascript object let's say i'm creating a writable store for the products for the cart items right and cart items is a big json object when you add a new item you uh, update this uh, store writable store and then whoever is subscribing that writable store will show okay you have added this cart item and this is the new total you have to pay there we can use a derived state against the cart items okay so these are just uh, concepts i will put more examples to talk about uh, this particular store let's say in the next example we are going to talk about one simple one end-to-end -end example where we are going to cover as many concepts of swell.js as possible.